Wow, long time no see, everyone. <laughs> a lot of things have happened since my last vlog, and I, I don't know where to start this update. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> so I guess first things first, I finally got a little, um, what is this called? Not a chandelier, but like a, whatever this is called, I got it installed. My brother came by last weekend and installed it. Um, I don't have a switch, so it doesn't turn on. <laughs> so I have to buy a switch. It also really bothers me that, um, hold on, I, let me show you from this angle. It really bothers me that it's not the center of the dining table. Like, I don't know why they put it here. It should be like at least one foot this way. Because if you put a dining table in the middle of this area, like how are you gonna walk around? Like, why would they put that there? Oh my gosh, I didn't tell you guys. I launched a Skinfluencer. So I launched Skinfluencer. This is a new platform and podcast. Uh, I launched it, I wanna say like three weeks ago something like that. Um, Skinfluencer is a platform that I created that explores beauty and fashion at the intersection of race, identity, and culture. So basically things that I've already been doing just on its own platform. And I've been having a lot of fun with it. I've been having like really nice conversations on it. I love the two podcast episodes that are currently up. Um, I just filmed one with my mom a couple days ago. And yeah, I'm just really having fun with this platform. If this some sounds like something you're interested in, I'll leave the links and stuff in the description box down below. The podcast is on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. And um, yeah, there's like articles on the website right now. Um, there's an interview with Mirai Nagasu, who is an Olympian ice skater. So I talked to her about beauty standards in professional and like uh, competitive ice skating, trigger warning uh, talks of disordered eating and body dysmorphia. I love exploring topics like this, so for it to have its own platform is just really exciting for me. So go check it out if this sounds like something you're interested in. I just want to show you guys this really cool product real quick. Um, this portion of the video is sponsored by Revolve. I didn't realize that they sold things that weren't clothes. <laughs> um, so I picked up a few things. One of those things is this. They sell beauty products, but they also sell home stuff too, which I did not realize. Um, so I'm gonna show you this product that I just got. It's really cool. It kind of went viral on TikTok and I wanted to try it out for myself and I saw it on Revolve. So I was like, yep, let's do that. So this is the Euphoria um, blush oil. And it looks green, right? Like it's literally a green liquid or a green oil. But when you put it on your skin, on, let me, your, okay, look at this. This is crazy. It's green, right? But when you put it on your skin, there's like a little chemical reaction and it turns into a blush color. And it looks really natural and really pretty. So like, even though I'm not wearing any other makeup, it just like brings some color to my face, especially because I have dark circles under my eyes and I don't look alive. This blush just brings me back to life. I mean, just look at that. It's just so pretty. All right, just to show you guys what I got from Revolve for my home. This is like a wireless charging pad. Um, so I can put my phone here, put anything like other accessories, like my keys or whatever. Um, it has like this drop zone. Um, but the reason why I wanted to get this is because I already have a charger in my room that I use to charge my phone. But sometimes when people come over, they're like, oh, do you have a charger? And I have to like scramble through my stuff to find like an extra charger. So I figured that having this here in the living room um, would just take care of that problem. So if someone needs to charge their phone, they can just plop it right there and it's good to go. And it's kind of shaped like an iPad. Um, and then it just uh, gets connected to the wall with USB-C. So I really like this. It comes in different colors, but obviously this one matches the color scheme here. So I've got that. 
This is my favorite candle by Veluspa. It's coconut papaya. So as you can see, I bought this one last year, but she's kind of running low. So I wanted to get this big, gigantic one. I haven't used it yet, but oh my gosh, it smells so good. I think that candles make really great gifts and uh, Revolve has a lot of candles. So, um, you know, the holidays are coming up. So this is one gift idea. By the way, I lied. I am doing my makeup. This vlog is a complete mess because I'm meeting with my friend Melanie because she's selling me a camera and I'm gonna meet her in LA today. So that's why I put makeup on. But last thing I wanna show you guys is this really cute glass set. It matches my nails, first of all. Look at that. And they're just so cute. Come on. Not only for your home, but as a gift. Um, so you guys have heard of the five minute journal, right? So I've included this in so many of my videos. You've probably seen it on my TikTok. Um, I really love this thing. It's just like you take five minutes out of your day, morning and night to just write what you're grateful for, you know, what would make today great daily affirmations. And then at night you would write like three amazing things that happened today. How could I have made today even better? I love this journal. I've been using it for about a year or however long I've been using it. But on Revolve, they have a five minute journal in collaboration with well-being and being well. So this one is more like, I wanna say like fitness focused almost. So this one, you know, you write what you're grateful for, things I will do for my well-being and health today, mindful affirmations. And then it also has like a daily habit tracker in the beginning. Um, I don't really use it because I have my own on Notion. But at the beginning of each week, it has like this weekly planner situation. So um, it has Monday through Sunday, and then you can write like your meals and your fitness goals and things like that. And then there's also like a space on the other page where you can write your intention for the week, your fitness goals, how you will motivate yourself in other notes. So um, this one is just like, a stepped up version of the original five minute journal. Revolve actually has both of these um, and they also have them in different colors, but I just wanted to put that out there because I really like this new one that I have as well. And it would also make a great gift. <laughs> Good morning. Here's the camera that I got. It's the Olympus Stylus Epic. I've been looking everywhere for this camera and there's actually a film store in Long Beach that was selling this camera, but it was in such terrible condition. It was all scratched up. Like who knows if it was even working. <laughs> so um, I didn't get it, but my friend Melanie was selling this. It is in excellent condition like barely any scratches. It works perfectly. She put batteries in. She gave me some film. I think she gave me some Porta 200, um, but it, she also gave me the leather case that it came with. And I'm just super excited. I'm so excited to take this with me to Asia, Korea and Philippines, cause I'm gonna get some really cool shots. Um, there's just, there's something about film that is so exciting because you don't know how it's gonna turn out until you get the film back. And don't get me wrong, like I love the manipulation of digital photos. Like I love my Lightroom in Photoshop, but I don't know, there's something about film where you think you got something and then it turns out completely different, but you might like it better than what you were envisioning. So um, yeah, my first film camera before this, I was only doing disposable, so yeah. <laughs> Yay, let's work out. Oh, another life update. Um, I started working out again. And I know last year I made like, I attempted to make that series where I'm trying to gain weight, <laughs> but it didn't really work. This time around, it's actually working. Like I actually see some muscle definition and that is because I'm actually eating enough calories and enough protein. <laughs> I was not eating enough 
when I was attempting this for the first time a year ago, but now I'm actually... Wait, can, can you see it? Because I can see it. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I see some muscle definition. I'm doing like a body recomp, so I'm losing fat and then gaining muscle. And I'm actually seeing results because I'm eating enough food this time around. <laughs> So you know when you make a protein smoothie with like a protein powder and then you blend it all together and then it gets like really thick? I hate when that happens. So what I do is I blend everything together first and then I put in my protein powder and then I just pulse it a few times to mix it in with the rest. Um, because I noticed that when it just blends and blends and blends, it just makes the protein powder thicker and fluffier. I hate when that happens, it hurts my stomach, makes me feel way more fuller than I am, so that's what I do. Little tip for you guys. <laughs> mm. So I put it in the blender and I just pulse it a few times. So instead of having a thick, chalky smoothie, it's smooth the way a smoothie should be. Look at that. Look at that texture. Wow. Wowzers. Yeah. <sighs> mm hmm. Good morning, everyone. 
my glasses are in. I got new glasses. Let's see if they fit and, you know, are all right. <laughs> Her. Well, it would probably look better when I'm not disgusting after my workout, but I still look cute. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I'm off to get my nails done. It's been a while since I've had these done. They are very much grown out, um, but it is pretty cold and rainy in LA today. Rained all night. Um, so that means I get to wear my coats and my jackets. How exciting. So I put on this uh, faux shearling coat or jacket that I got from Revolve. It's very cute. Has like some brown detailing. Also, do not mind the state of my apartment. This is gonna, all gonna be in a separate vlog, but I spent basically the entire week last week filming um, a show for Tastemade's YouTube channel. It's a very exciting show. I flew a plane. I rode a horse. It was very exciting. Um, but because of that, my apartment is looking more like a studio than a home. So just ignore that real quick. But um, yeah, let's get going. Just went short, cut it all off. they're so cute look at them they're so cute um i haven't had short nails in a very long time but now i feel like i have the freedom to do anything i can take a pottery class right now wow how exciting i can go rock climbing there's lots of things that i can do now <laughs> but anyway um i'm gonna go home right now and figure out what to eat I've been eating a lot of sugar lately, so I'm trying to like eat healthy, but I don't know what I want to eat because I don't like salad. I don't like salads. Okay, everyone thinks I'm crazy when I say this, but I don't like salads because of how much chewing is involved in eating salads. And I have like, I have TMJ. And so every time I have to like chew a lot, it's just not a fun experience for me. So what else can I eat that's healthy? <laughs> I'll figure it out. Wow, I love my nails. Exciting. My sunglasses came in. Cha! My mom's upset because she also got a pair of eyeglasses and sunglasses and she doesn't like either of them. So now I have to take her all the way back to Warby Parker so that she can make an exchange. Win. <laughs> anyway, um, because of the weather, we are going to get some pho today. I'm gonna pick up my dad first. Um, none of my friends are in LA <laughs> right now. They haven't been for a while, so I've just been hanging out with my parents <laughs> this entire time. But I don't mind, I love my parents. Yeah. Say it again. I'm not playing with you. <laughs> Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Look at you. You look like a teenage boy. <laughs> <laughs> Even 
worse. Okay, teenage boy from 2005. <laughs> but I... Ouch. All right, y'all, I am going to end this vlog here and then start a new vlog right, literally right after this one because I'm going to a special screening of Wakanda forever. And I'm bringing my dad with me because my friends are still not in Los Angeles. <laughs> so I'm still hanging out with my parents. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next vlog.